We're supposed to slip, slop, slap to protect our skin in summer. But it's not only the sun you need to worry about. The sunscreen you use could be just as dangerous. Show me your face. You feel helpless. You feel like you failed your child. When you know you did everything you could, you still feel like you failed, even though it wasn't your fault. Show me your arms. Ready? That, I'm not going to touch it. That one there's burst. Awesome. Turn around. People can have several reactions when it comes to sunscreen. Burnt, blistered and barely able to be touched. How did an afternoon at the beach end in agonising pain for three-year-old Ryder? We have more blisters appearing on this shoulder. Tonight, why this mother blames a popular sunscreen found in households right across Australia. I was upset that I took every precaution possible, but he still ended up hurt. Kayla Brown wishes she never laid her hands on Banana Boat's SPF 50 Kids Aerosol sunscreen, let alone used it on her son during a family outing two months ago. He woke up the following morning covered in blisters. Um, I let it go for a day because I thought, OK, well, he's just had a little bit of a reaction, but they got worse. So I took him down to my local GP and she stated he had superficial chemical burns to 40% of his upper torso. The Queensland mother claims Ryder was not only lathered in the sunscreen, but was also wearing a rash shirt and a hat during the two hours he was in the sun. And her little boy still ended up like this. I don't see how it could be the sun if it was underneath his shirt. Uh, the sun doesn't reach underneath your shirt, especially a sun safe shirt. It's from the product itself. He missed daycare for almost two months, um, slept sitting up for the duration of the time, he still now has sensitivity to his skin and discoloration. So devastating for you as a mum to watch. To know that your child is in that much pain and there's nothing you can do. After hospital visits um, and being told by the hospital there's nothing they can do, um, if he had got burnt any worse from the chemicals, they were looking at skin grafts. Matthew Batase from Sydney South West says he's been left with a daily reminder of the time he used this banana boat Daily Protect SPF 50 sunscreen. I applied it two times in, within two hours and then when I got home I slept. I woke up the next morning with bad burns on my body. Matthew's burns were so bad he too was forced to go to a doctor. So she gave me this cream, the steroid cream. I used it for about three days and then up the next day my skin was sensitive and it was burning and itching and I had to stay in the shower for hours because I couldn't get out. My skin was too sensitive. Like Kayla, Matthew blames the banana boat cream. It doesn't turn me off but I wouldn't think I'll use the brand again after what happened. It was a painful uh, experience I wouldn't want to go through again. It was just hell. These are photos of a 12-year-old boy whose mother says was in the sun for an hour covered in Banana Boat's SBF 50 aerosol sunscreen. He ended up in hospital with severe burns. It's difficult to be 100%, but certainly this could be the fact the sunscreen product has failed, whether that's because the SPF wasn't tested properly or the application and they've got an overt sunburn. While many are quick to blame the sunscreen itself, dermatologist Dr Natasha Cook says it's not always the culprit. First of all, there can be a reaction in that they haven't applied the sunscreen appropriately enough or the sunscreen itself may not be actually working. It could be expired or it's not a true representation of the SPF and you can get a sunburn. Secondly, people could be allergic to a particular ingredient in the sunscreen product, whether that's one of the actual sunscreen protecting agents or a preservative or something else. Natasha says application is key to avoiding sunburn and we're getting it wrong when turning to certain products. From a dermatologist's perspective, I really don't encourage the use of aerosol sprays for sunscreen application because they tend to be only applied a fraction of what you need to get that SPF reading on the container. In a statement to A Current Affair, Banana Boat's parent company said, we are very sorry to hear about these customers' experiences and want to reassure our consumers that they can feel confident using our products for safe and effective sun protection. 
all Banana Boat sunscreen products undergo rigorous testing and meet the high Australian standards administered by the Therapeutic Goods Association. A chemical burn is a serious condition and the substances that cause such burns are not present in sunscreens. While extreme reactions to sunscreen are relatively rare, it's not the first time popular brands have come under fire from angry Aussies left with painful burns. Some Cancer Council products have been taken off the shelves to be retested in recent years due to customer complaints. Kayla and Matthew want Banana Boat to do the same. I want them to have better customer service and to look over their brands before they sell it and put it on the shelves. I'd say take your product off the shelf. Stop letting people get hurt and don't take the chance of it anymore. The full statement from Banana Boat's parent company is on our website.